The timeline of a cyber attack on a local authority. This video combines an overview of five councils' experiences of cyber attacks. We're breaking a cyber attack down into six stages. These are 1. Intrusion, 2. Incubation, 3. Execution, 4. Impact and detection, 5. Response, and 6. Recovery. This video will describe what happens at each stage and include timings based on the five councils' experiences. Intrusion. The first stage in a cyber attack is intrusion. At the beginning of this stage, the actor will scan the council's network for potential vulnerabilities. They may be looking for an insecure remote access solution, a target for a phishing email, or weakness in an information system. Once they have found a suitable vulnerability, they will exploit it to gain access. The time spent scanning council networks can be from moments to months, but intrusion can take place in the click of a button. Incubation. The second stage, incubation, begins once the actor has successfully gained access to the council's network or systems. They will explore the system and internal network to see what they might be able to access and control. They may be looking for password information, location of key data and backups, or further vulnerabilities. This stage might last for a few days or stretch into months as they gather information and wait for their preferred time to execute their attack. Execution. Once the actor has all the information they need, they will initiate the planned attack. During this stage, the actor might encrypt or destroy targeted files, servers or backups, or steal data to sell or share on the dark web or to hold for ransom. This often takes place outside of work hours to reduce the likelihood of being detected and may last up to 48 hours or longer. Impact and detection. After an attack, council operations will be disrupted or halted completely, often with internal and non-cloud IT services worst affected. It may be hard for the council to distinguish the cause of the service outage, and it could take engineers and the IT team up to four hours to uncover the attack. From the start, staff, residents, and communities are likely to be affected by disruption to services. Response. The first step in responding to a cyber attack is to inform Action Fraud and the ICO, along with other third parties, including NCSC. The Council can then enact their business continuity plan and implement temporary processes to restore services in as far as possible while the attack is contained and eradicated. A forensic investigation will also take place. Communications with residents, partner organisations and staff will be managed. This stage could take up to four weeks as the Council works towards workable stability. If plans haven't been well considered or rehearsed, this could be even longer. Recovery. The recovery stage can take from between 10 weeks to a year or more. Councils may choose to transform rather than reinstate their previous systems, which will take time to plan and implement. Longer term disruption and difficulty may be experienced with customized apps and those which store data. This stage ends when the council reaches their new normal, meaning no further recovery can be reasonably achieved. The overall cost to affected councils has been estimated to range from £1 million to £12 million. The amount of time and money it might take to recover is dependent on how prepared the council is to respond. It's essential to have plans for business continuity and disaster recovery in place to assist with the response and to minimise actual and reputational damage.